I want to focus on that wonderful concept, that vital virtue that unfortunately and regrettably is often forgotten, the virtue of kindness, being kind. I want you to hear a story. Twenty years ago, I drove a cab for a living. When I arrived at 2.30 in the morning, the building was dark except for a single light in a ground floor window. Under these circumstances, many cab drivers would just honk once or twice, wait a minute, then drive away. But I had seen too many impoverished people who depended on taxis as their only means of transportation to drive away. Unless the situation smelled of danger, I always went to the door. So I walked to the door and knocked. Just a moment, answered a frail, elderly voice. After a long pause, the door opened. A small woman in her 80s stood before me. By her side was a small nylon suitcase. Would you carry that this bag out to the car for me, she said. I took the suitcase out and returned to assist the woman. She took my arm and walked slowly toward the curb. She kept thanking me for my kindness. Oh, it's nothing, I told her. I just try to treat all my passengers the way I would want my mother treated. When we got in the cab, she gave me an address. Then she said, oh, by the way, could you drive uh, through downtown? It's not the shortest way. Oh, I, I don't mind. Uh, I'm, I'm in no hurry. I'm on my way to a hospice. I looked in the rearview mirror and her eyes were glistening. I, I don't have any family left, she said almost to herself. The doctor says I don't have very long. I quietly reached over and shut off the meter. What route would you like me to take? For the next two hours, we drove all around the city. She showed me the building where she had once worked as an elevator operator. We drove through the neighborhood where she and her husband had lived when they were newlyweds. She had me pull up in front of a furniture warehouse that had once been a ballroom where she had gone dancing as a girl. Sometimes she'd ask me to slow down in front of a particular building or corner she would sit staring into the darkness, saying nothing. As the first hint of sun was creasing the horizon, she suddenly said, okay, I'm ready, let's go now. We drove in silence to the address she had given me. It was a low building. Two orderlies came out to the cab. As soon as we pulled up, they were solicitous and intent. Watching her every move, they were expecting her. I opened the trunk, took out the small suitcase, carried it to the door. The woman was already seated in a wheelchair. How much do I owe you, she asked. No, you don't owe me anything, I said. Oh, you have to make a living, she answered. Oh, there are other passengers, I responded. Almost without thinking, I bent over and gave her a hug. And she held on to me tightly. You gave an old woman a little bit of joy, she said. Thank you. I squeezed her hand, then walked into the dim morning light. Behind me, a door shut. It was the sound of the closing of a life. I drove aimlessly, lost in thought for the rest of the day. I could hardly talk. What if that woman had gotten in an, an angry driver earlier that morning, or one who was impatient? What if I had refused to take the run, or had honked once and driven away? On a quick review, I don't think I have done anything more important in all my life. I love that story sort of helps me allow life to make up its mind again. You need to remember that story. The times you will want to be anything but kind. Because it is so much easier 
to bear a grudge and hate in return or get back or get even. Hate destroys the vessel it's kept in. Revenge never healed a wound. There's one thing all of us have in common. We've been mistreated by somebody. Some of you have known abuse, misunderstanding. And all of this has a way of siphoning your tank of kindness. It can make you hard. And you can get on with hard. You, you can get along with it. In fact, some will even respect you more because you're tough. But I urge you not to be. Be kind, tenderhearted, forgiving one another. When I'm truly free of revenge and bitterness, there is plenty of room in my heart left for kindness. And not until. Do what's right. Do justice. Love kindness. Walk humbly with your God.